Hello folks and welcome to another brief video review and water drop test, this time of Pilot Urishizuku's Fuyu Suyugun, maybe? I'm going to go ahead and give that a shot. Uh, this is a nice gray ink that uh, Brian and Lisa Anderson kindly gave to my wife Audrey when we were up at their store. She said, oh, I really want to try this gray. So they hooked up with a sample, and then I got to review it. So it's a win for everybody, sort of. Uh, these Irishizuku inks are kind of hit or miss for me, honestly. I know a lot of people give them a lot of love, uh, but some of them are super unique and great, and some of them are not so awesome. This one I'm a little bit torn on. I, uh, I did like it pretty well in this Lamy medium. Uh, when Audrey got this ink, she wanted to put it in this extra fine nib, and in an extra fine, this ink was kind of unusable. It was way too light, it was not saturated enough, you couldn't really read it, uh, just, it, it wasn't good. But, when you put it in something like a medium, or something a little bit juicier probably, it's gonna be better. And I really do like the tone of this ink, I just kinda wanted more from it. Maybe I'm, uh, being a little bit, uh, harsh on it because it is an Irishizuku and it is sort of a premium ink. Uh, but it is a cool color. I like the sort of blue cast that you get to the ink. Uh, sort of a bluish gray when you get a lot of it down there. It looks kind of nice. But I really wanted it to flow a bit better. I wanted it to be a little bit more saturated. I just kind of wanted more. Um, maybe I just need to let it condense or something in an open vial dangerously on my shelf or something for a while and I'll get the, uh, the saturation that I want. Um, but it's harder to saturate an ink than it is to unsaturate an ink by just adding a drop of water or something. So not my perfect gray. You can see it compared to a bunch of other grays, well I guess three other gray, two other grays that I've had on the blog recently. There's the Irishizuku here at the top, and then Faber-Castell's Stone Gray, which I just reviewed on the blog, and then Mont Blanc's Einstein. Uh, the Einstein came off a lot darker here, and actually seemed to do a little bit of feathering and spreading, which is weird for that ink. And also the Faber-Castell Carbon Black did, which is uh, odd. I think, I don't, I don't know what happened, but uh, just kind of soaked into the paper a bit too hard. Anyway, you can see that those are much more brown grays or real dark grays in the case of the Einstein. And I kind of like those better just because of the saturation. I'd rather have... Now, if I could get this sort of bluish gray and a great saturation like this, I would be pretty psyched. But that's not what I've got. So... Uh, this year Suzuku kind of didn't hit the hit the mark for me. Now here's the thing: I was recording this video before, and I did the water drop test, and I sprayed water on it and soaked right into this paper. Uh, this is Anderson Pin's proper pad paper, so it's not uh, coated like the Rhodia paper that I use a lot of other times, and so it's um, I don't know soaked through a bit. But you can see that the uh, ink didn't really smear at all, didn't disappear at all when I used water on it, and then here. Right in this area is where it was soaked up. Uh, you can see that the blue is from a different ink. This is just uh, an area that nothing came off, which is kind of impressive. So it might be a little bit water resistant, which is kind of nice and also kind of unusual for these Irishizuku inks. The problem is that I ran out of memory and my phone shut down and wouldn't let me video any more things. So you don't get the live water drop test, but you can see the results. And uh, the results are actually pretty good, so, you know, that's cool. The reason I use the Anderson Pins proper pads on this one, by the way, is not uh, an advertisement. It's just that uh, the sink just didn't work all that well on Rhodia, if you ask me. It didn't... it's not saturated enough, and so it just kinda... I don't know, didn't work. I don't know what to tell you. It was weird. It just kind of beat it up and refused to dry and refused to to look good, and so I think it looks better on this paper, so I gave it a, a fair shake as far as I could. Anyway, so there's the report on the Irishizuku Fuyusu gun. Um, not my favorite gray, but uh, I do like the color. I just don't like the saturation and the behavior all that much, although it does not have um, bleach feather and spread problems. You can see at the back of this page, really nice. I'll take it down here where the smear was, but it's not a real heavy, it's, I mean it's a heavy-ish paper, but it's not coated, so you're gonna get some bleed through if you put a lot of ink down. Anyway, um, check this one out if you're into that sort of gray-blue color, or if you have a really big nib, because if you have a big nib, you might get this color out of it, which would be kind of cool. So, anyway, there you go. Ir Suzuku, Fuyu, Sugan. See you later.